meditation number 11, which is cross heart kirtan kriya. What is that? That's the first time I've heard of that, Dr. Mahal. Yes, kirtan kriya. By the way, this particular kirtan kriya has been medically researched to, um, and the findings are it definitely benefits Alzheimer's and um, helps improve memory. And also is just this, this was the first meditation that Yogi Bhajan taught when he came to America. It's a wonderful Kirtan Kriya, it's called. And the mantra is Sat, which means truth, Nam, which means name or identity of the truth. And we're going to break it into syllables. Sa, ta, na, ma. So as we move with the fingers, sa, the index and, and thumb are touching. And then ta, the middle finger is touching the thumb. Na, the ring finger is touching the thumb. Ma, the pinky is touching the thumb. And so how we're going to do this is you're going to put pressure on each of the, remember the pads of your fingers. And this meditation stimulates the nerve endings in the fingertips, balancing the right and left hemisphere of the brain. This positively changes your habits and works through insecurities. Get ready. Your spiritual unfoldment is about to shift into high gear. So we start out doing it aloud. This is the voice of human. And then we'll do it in whisper, a strong whisper, the voice of lovers. And then we do mentally, silently, while keeping the fingers moving and the mantra mentally going in our mind. This is the voice of God. And so we could do this very equal time. You could do either one minute aloud one minute whisper, one minute silence, and then coming out of it, another one minute. So that's two minutes in silence, one minute whisper, one minute aloud. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. This is the best, the simplest meditation. You could do it at the heart of what they call Cross your arms so your, your right hand is closest to your heart and then your left is over it. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Very, very simple. Your eyes are closed. If you find you begin to space out and your mind begins to wander, just very, very gently bring it back to sa, ta, na, ma. Very simple, but very impactful meditation. The very first meditation that Yogi Bhajan taught. It's timeless. Try it. Wow, beautiful. You mentioned that there's a science behind this or it's been clinically proven. Can you share some of the benefits from this? Yes, it improves memory. And it helps us get to what we call our neutral mind. Neutral mind is you weigh the positive and the negative in each and every situation, non-emotionally, and then you come to a very neutral conclusion, free from emotion, free from confusion, free from mental talk. But um, get to that neutral place where you just know what the right thing to do is. So it helps us to, to train our mind. Remember, we're in training. We'll be in training the rest of our life. It's not like we ever graduate. It's a constant process because the mind has the ability to think of a thousand thoughts every blink of the eye. Can you imagine? Every time we blink is another thousand thoughts. Our mind runs us ragged. We're exhausted and we haven't even done anything, but because our minds are so active, we, we end up being exhausted. And so what this does is it helps to narrow that so that we could become what you call one-pointed. One-pointed means I'm here, I'm with you, I'm paying attention, I'm only doing one thing. You have my full energy, I have your full energy. It's a focus. 
And you know it when you're like that or when you're with a person that is engaged with you, not wandering, not somewhere else, not confused or emotional, commotional. That's what this does. And it's all possible. And it's all free. And it's all yours. So enjoy. Ah, oh, so beautiful. So much power from free breathing techniques at the tips of our fingers, isn't it? It is. Incredible. Mm -hmm.